in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <coughs> My dear brothers and sisters, in today's first reading, God Ave loved Israelites so much, the more he loved, the more they were away from Yahweh God. So, my dear brothers and sisters, when loves us so much, we are not caring about the other, but we are not realizing that He loves us so much. So, just let us, before partaking this Holy Christ, let us remember, am I really realizing the one who loves my mother or my father? And let us acknowledge our sins and pray and ask Palm for His mercy. I confess to Almighty God, to my brothers and sisters, <coughs> thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I express Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to fear for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray, O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen wall, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness, through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the need of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The book of Hosea, page number 1025. Page number 1025, chapter 11, verses 1 and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6. Chapter 11, verses 1, 4, 5, 8, and 9. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with bands of love. I was to them like those who lift infants to their cheeks. I bent down to them and fed them. Verse 8 and 9. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand over you, O Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I treat you like Zeboin? My heart recoils with me in me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not exude my fierce anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim, for I am God and no mortal, the only one in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. The word of the Lord. Your responsorial song. Let your face shine on us, O Lord, and we shall be saved. Please turn to Psalm 80, page number 626. Psalm 80, page number 626, verses 2 to 8. 
2 and 3, 15 and 16. Let us read. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Verse 15 and 16. The stock that your right hand planted, they have buried it with fire. They have cut it down. May they perish at the rebuke of your countenance. That's for the whole psalm. Let your face shine on us, O Lord, and we shall be saved. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. 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 Harden not your hearts today. But listen to the voice of the Lord. be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 10 verses 7 to 15 page number 10 from the new testament as you go proclaim the good news the kingdom of heaven has come near cure the sick raise the dead cleanse the lepers cast out demons you receive without payment give without payment take no gold or silver or copper in your belts no bag for your journey a two tunics or sandals or a staff for laborers deserve their food <coughs> whatever town or village you enter find out who in it is worthy and stay there until you leave as you enter the house greet it if the house is worthy let your peace come upon it But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from the from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly, I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for the town. The Gospel of the Lord. my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ a wealthy person became sad when he pondered jesus teaching on giving he prayed to be able to accept this teaching but the more he prayed the sadder he got when the man was near despair an angel came to comfort him why are you so sad my son asked the angel the man replied because of my master teaching on giving does it mean that i have to give him again and again and again without stopping and the angel answered you have to give only as long as the master gives my dear brothers and sisters and today's gospel reading jesus is entrusting the mission to the 12 apostles and he is giving all the powers that he had and he is telling them to not to take anything but as long as your master gives you need to give to the the needy and as the mission whatever god wills we need to do in today's world but are we really following the instructions of jesus or are we walking according to the will of our own will so my dear brothers and sisters if you if you if you want to be a real catholic or christian we need to be always whatever he gives us we need to share the the more you share the more you will be getting and you will be receiving so my dear brothers and sisters let us pray in this holy grace let god give us good heart so that we may whatever god wants let us do 
in spite of our weaknesses so that he strengthens us our faith and he also uses us for his own he gives us mission to to the use to the people those who are needy and helpless and the poor who are going away from god like israelites god so portrayed as loving father it was he took israel in his arms it was he who lifted israel to his cheeks it was he who taught israel to walk but they but they were away from yahweh god that's how when the loving person when he loves when somebody loves us we don't realize but when we are in the situation and then only when the pers- the person goes away then only we realize what is the importance of that person so my dear brothers and sisters god is giving to each each one of us a great mission to work according to the capability what we live brother and that my sacrifice and use me ask to god the almighty father <laughs> may this ablation dedicated to your name purify us o lord and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you Amen. lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and always to give you thanks lord holy father and most eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with our heart bless you therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim make holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them let the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and bread of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entering into his passion he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and re- and eat from it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood 
the bread of the new eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith For as we celebrate the memory of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Bala our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, you have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. The Lord, in all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you through all the ages. If you may merit to be coasted in life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Save his command and found by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. You will this day our daily bread, for you us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. We wish not temptation, but rule us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As if there was a hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on us since brother faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death amen beginning is now and we shall be without in amen let us pray grant we pray o lord that having been refreshed by such great gifts we may gain the prize of salvation and never to cease to praise you through christ our lord amen. the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen. go for the masses and dead thank you lord